What's going on, YouTube fam? It's your boy over at Kings vs. Kicks. My name is Sean. Unfortunately, Billy couldn't make it if you've seen our past videos and you know who he is. If not, I usually do videos with my boy Billy. We get them done real good. We both give our inputs on things, and uh, people like to hear it because Billy's a more rookie to the sneaker game, I'm a little bit more experienced, and uh, it's pretty cool. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my trade experience. If you haven't checked out our past videos, definitely go check it out. I have another trade experience that I traded my Black Cement 3s. And also we have really cool Kicks vs. Kicks battles, which is why it's the name of our channel. What we do is we take two sneakers, we both put them on, usually the same genre or price range, and we just give our inputs why we like each one better. For example, we did two out of the last year's Area 72 All-Star Pack. We did the KDs vs. Kobe's. We've done Galaxy Rookies vs. South Beaches and such. So definitely go check out our last videos. But anyway, let me get right into this new one. This is um, a trade experience I had. And before I get into it, I just want to apologize like I did in my last video about the water you hear in the background. I did both of these videos back to back, but I'm uploading them different times. So that's my fish tank. It needs a little bit of water. Screw it. Anyway... I traded for these shoes I'm about to show you. I traded a pair of Asics Sidewinders. They're the Extra Butter Concept um, collaboration, rather. And if you're not familiar with Extra Butter, it's a store in Rockville Center in New York. I'm a town over in Oceanside. And there's also another one in LES. So shout out goes to Extra Butter. And I really um, appreciate that store being so close to me. And it's a really dope store. Awesome, and I'm really proud of them that they were able to get their own shoe. If you're not familiar with the sneaker, just look up A6 Sidewinder, and that's what I traded in this deal. I think I made out, but like I always say, I love to hear my viewers, subscribers, and such on um, comments and what they have to say about things. Negative, positive, whatever. But enough with the talking. Let's get right into the trade. So right here, I'll show you guys the sneaker boxes after. I'm not going to get all the boxes because they're stacked pretty high right now, but I'll show you guys after and let you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I got OG all for all these. All these sneakers I'm going to show you came with the box, extra laces, all that good stuff. So first sneaker, we have the Brown Pack High. Not a very popular sneaker. I think it's pretty dope just to wear with these. Like as you can see, like... You know, I'm not going to throw them on real quick because i got a lot to show you, but goes pretty dope with khakis, even black jeans, whatever you want, blue jeans. Pretty simple sneaker. Brown pack high, they're called, if you're not familiar. They're nice. Not bad condition at all. I think they're pretty fresh. This isn't, this isn't the main reason I did the trade, though, but just an extra sneaker to be thrown in. I'm going to show you guys the sneakers in the order. I like them. You can tell me. Uh, what your order is, but I'm showing you from least favorite to favorite. Next, we have, I'm not sure if there's a proper name for them, but I just call them my camos. These camo joints are pretty fire. I like them a lot. You can wear them with camo pants. I don't wear camo pants. I like camo shorts, though. I'm going to break these out spring, summertime. I'll get a zoom in of that. It's just a black with hits of camo all over. Let you guys see. So I think these are really dope. Once again, not terrible condition. Came with extra laces right there. Um, some of the extra laces are in the boxes if you're wondering where some of the other ones are for some of the other sneakers I'm going to show you. But yeah, I think these are pretty dope. We're definitely going to rock these with some camo shorts. Excited to wear these. Alright, moving on to the next one. Got these Budweiser right here. Got the Budweiser's. Pretty dope. Like these. Chilling come spring, summertime, like I said. Definitely going to bring these out a lot more. We could actually chill with a nice beer when it gets nicer out. Definitely like the knees. My favorite part, definitely, is that American flag representing right here on the tongue. Let everyone see. Proud right there. Also, I love the bottom, the gum. So, another dope sneaker. But moving on to... One of my more favorite ones. I actually brought these out. Got to wear these this uh, past Saturday and, and Monday, of course. We have the St. Patty's Day SB. Pretty dope. I did a lace swap right here. 
because they came with green and white, and he actually had the OG laces, and I actually happened to have them in the sneaker right there, Nike SB bag, falling out, blah, blah, blah. So that's right there. These are pretty dope. Clean sneaker. I mean, minimum creasing. Bottoms aren't too bad. I think they're really dope. Got to wear them. Probably won't break them out for a while again if I do, besides St. Patrick's Day, but they're a nice sneaker to have in the collection, no doubt. Now, this pickup is definitely the main reason why I even did the trade in the first place, because, shout out again, Street Heat Events, I'll show you their card right there, shout out to them. I picked up the Hulk from there, so now, I was able to get my hands on the Spider-Mans. So, I thought that was really dope, put one over there, they're identical condition. These are the Nike SB Spider-Mans, right here. Tongue, Nike SB, red and blue, black, colorway, equals Spider-Man. These are in great condition. Not easy to find a pair of Nike SB Spider-Mans in a size 12 willing to be traded also, especially in such good condition that aren't like beat up or anything. You know, the toe box needs some work, but I haven't stuffed these or put any shoe trees in there or anything yet. So, I mean, these could definitely be brought up like at least a number in uh, condition wise bottoms aren't too dirty but I have Jason Mark rejuvenator all that good stuff so I mean it's really no big deal but these are great condition and I'm really happy with this trade so I got these five pairs I'll name them off one more time I'll uh, put them down so you guys can see so I got the spider-man's same patties brown brown highs Budweiser's, and last but not least, I got the these camo joints. So as you can see, I got five pairs of sneakers just for that one pair of the Sidewinder Asics. In my opinion, I made out. You guys might think otherwise, but like I said, I love feedback, negative, positive. I mean, anything helps us grow together. I mean, I want your viewing pleasure to be as positive as it can be. I want you guys to enjoy the videos as much as um, the highest standpoint can be because there's no point of watching them if you're not enjoying them. So give me some feedback. You might say you should have kept the ASICs. You might say, hey, those Nike SBs are dope. Definitely good come up. But let me know. In my last video, I explained exactly why I'm starting to trade some of my shoes, such as Jordans and stuff, for Nike SBs. Um, you guys might agree with that or disagree, but I love the Nike SBs, the quality, the colorways. I'll explain myself again a little bit, such as these Spider-Mans. I mean, I'll take another Jordan just to show you guys real quick. Um, yeah. Here we have a pair of grapes. This is a dope Jordan, definitely clean. I actually have this one on ice, dead stock. But I mean, this is just simple. It's great purple, green, you know, grape. Very simple. But then you take another cool shoot. You have Spider-Mans based off a hit movie comic book. All that stuff. You got Budweiser based off a drink. I mean, you got St. Patrick's Day based off a holiday. You got crazy colorways, crazy concepts to these shoes. I mean, I think it's just dope. All the stuff I could do from holidays to comic books. So I really am intrigued by that. And that's what's really making me cross over from Nike SB. Um, from Jordan to Nike SB, rather. So I think that's dope. So I got one more trade to show you guys. Stay tuned. If you haven't seen the last one. Definitely go check it out. And um, here, I'll show you guys why I couldn't show the boxes exactly. Because it's back to the ceiling right there. Also got that dope Area 72. I uh, framed one of the newspapers. I thought that was a pretty good idea. Got a nice frame for it. Besides the point, um, yeah, so Nike SBs are my new thing. If you guys got Nike SB size 11 through 13, let me know. I got another trade to show you guys, which I also am very happy about. That will be in the next video. So leave tons of feedback. I'm Sean signing out from Kigs vs. Kigs. Billy couldn't make it, but he says much love to the YouTube community. And from both of us, peace out, guys.